Hi, alto saxophones. Welcome back. Today, we're doing accent book two, page number five. And this is the last page of our accent on review section. The notes in the upper left-hand corner are the notes high A, two fingers and octave key, and the note B flat, two fingers and the first side key with your right hand. In the upper left-hand corner, I'm sorry, in the upper right-hand corner, we have more syncopation. That's the syncopation pattern eighth, quarter, eighth. And we'll use that syncopation pattern later and we'll call it short, long, short. The key signature that has one flat is a key signature that has B flat and its name is F major. We'll play all of our Bs, two inside, B flat fingering style. The time signature that has a C is our common time and you know it as 4-4 four, four time. So common time is 4-4 four, four time, where there are four beats or counts in each measure. DC alfine and DS alfine mean there's more music to come because DC alfine takes you back to the beginning and you play another section of the song again until you reach the word fine. DS alfine means go back to the sign that isn't quite at the beginning, but somewhere earlier in the piece. You'll find the sign, you'll start there and play until the fine for the final note. Tempo marking largo is very slow. We won't play anything largo today, as I like to keep things moderate in speed for our lesson book videos. The, the symbols for getting louder and getting softer over time are called crescendo and diminuendo and we'll use those as well to gradually increase our volume or decrease our volume in a song. Let's jump in and play our first piece. It's number 12, All Through the Night. This piece is in common time, 4-4 four, four time. It's got to repeat in the first four measures, like Deck the Halls did. We'll play those first four measures twice before moving on. Then we'll play measures 5, 6, 7, and 8. At the end of measure 8 is a DC alfine. So we're not done yet. We'll go back to the beginning, the DC, and we'll play to the word fine again at the end of measure four. No sharps or flats. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> Beginning, ready, set, go. <laughs> Next up is an American folk song called Old Dan Tucker. It uses our syncopation pattern, short, long, short. And that is eighth quarter, eighth rhythm, or T ta T, if you're talking in T's and ta's. In number 13, the duet Old Dan Tucker, we have that rhythm in the first measure of letter A, or of section A. And part A is the part I'll start with this morning. So join me on this part A, or join me on part B for that instant duet. Now this piece does start from the very beginning, and it does go all the way to measure six. There is a DS alfine. That means go back to the sign in measure three, and play measure three and four again. So that in order, we're playing measures one, two, three, four, five, six, three, four. Here we go with F sharp and C sharp. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> Now we'll do part B. 
This note starts on a dotted half note A for three counts. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> mistake on part B, it was likely because you missed the C sharp or the C natural. Use a pencil and mark them in and then try it again until you get it correct. Next up is number 14, the Erie Canal. This piece has a B flat in the key signature. So if we encounter the note B, we'll play it like the fingering guide at the top of the page, B flat. It's in 4-4 four, four time with a first and second ending. So make sure you take that repeat to the other repeat sign and then make sure you play ending two the second time. It's got a pickup note on beat four. So I'll count us in like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. And we'll begin playing on beat four after three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Rewind and play that one a second time if you need more practice. Our final exercise is number 15, America the Beautiful. This piece also has a B flat in the key signature, and we will use a B flat in measure three. Look at that very first note of the first full third measure, or measure three, and it has a B flat as our first note. Be sure you're playing B flat or mark it with a pencil so you don't forget. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. And there you have it, America the Beautiful. So I hope this video was helpful and I hope you'll consider using again if you need more practice. You'll be glad you review for the progress you make in the future. So until I see you next time, keep practicing.